This is my Curon Grande and green pearlized acrylic with a special nib grind from a broad number six nib down to 1.1 millimeter cursive italic. This is a creation of Brian Gray of the Edison Pen Company. And uh, this is a beautiful pen. Fantastic workmanship. It's also a bulb filler. So, as you can see, there's right now there's visible three distinct sections. The section I'm touching is actually the, the blind cap for the bulb filler itself. And there's a barrel in the cap. And as you can see, they have this deep iridescent green in sort of alternating bright and dark quarters, uh, which is really, I find, very attractive. Uh, it's just a fantastically beautiful pen. I, since it's a clipless pen, I went ahead and bought one of Brian's pen rests to go with this. So let's take a closer look at the pen. Uh, the pen is quite long. Uh, my, my fingers are from the base of my hand to the tip of my ring fingers about eight inches and this is maybe an inch short of that or a little bit more. So with the cap on the pen it's quite long. Uh, you've got a bit of engraving here on the barrel. Edison Pen Company Huron Grande. Very nice. Uh, Brian Gray's thread work uh, by reputation is really fantastic. And the threads for the cap actually have, that I can see, at least three entry points. So it's possible to end up with the bright iridescent part of these of the barrel and cap lining up or you can have it offset which is what I like I like having it offset the three sections so the, the blind cap and the cap agree and the barrel is on its own thing and even in these dark sections there's this sort of deep green iridescence that's still there Like staring into deep inner or outer space. It's quite fantastic. The pen is postable. I haven't inked it up yet. Uh, but I would say it's rather it's a bit top heavy with with the cap posted, especially without any ink in it. I'll probably be writing with it unposted. The section feels very good in my hand. Uh, the threads are way back here. This little lip gives you a secure place to reference from when you're gripping the pen. It's very nice. Uh, it's, it's just a nice fit for my hands. My hands aren't the largest hands, but they are probably bigger than average. Feels really good in my hand. Uh, the nib is a number six broad that, that Brian did a custom grind for. Uh, to bring it down to 1.1 millimeter italic. You can see it's a broad nib. And like a lot like all of these number six nibbed Edison pens, it's possible to unscrew the nib if you like and swap it out for 
another of Brian's nibs or a similar number six nib. And that section is just as beautiful as the rest of the pen. So this is a bulb filler. You take the blind cap off. And you've got this nice little bulb back here. You immerse the, the pen and the ink up to the section and you squeeze. When the pen is empty, you squeeze bubbles out and ink comes in. Now, I haven't actually done this yet. I'm about to. Uh, Brian actually has a nice video on how bulb fillers work. He demonstrates it in the video. If you remove the section from the barrel, you get this breather tube. It's part of the functioning of the bulb filler. Um, the section itself is coated, the threads on the section are coated with silicon grease. And Brian thoughtfully sent along a little thing of silicon grease to make sure that this is a tight seal. Here it is. This is similar to containers of silicon grease that you can buy from certain um, certain other pen sellers. Very nice to have that. So if you need to clean the pen more thoroughly than just bringing in water and pushing out water, you can take this section apart, clean it, clean the uh, interior of the barrel and the section and everything else. And if you think it needs more silicon grease and right here between the section and the barrel you can apply some of the grease that came comes with the pen if you get a pen from Brian Gray so that's very nice very very nice it's beautiful it's exactly what I wanted um, communication between myself and Brian was excellent. We never talked on the phone, actually. It was all done by email. But uh, he, he responds very quickly and with great courtesy and clarity. It's, he's a pleasure to work with. So that's it on the appearance of the pen. In the next video, I will ink it up and we'll see how she, for the first time, and we'll see, see how it writes.